Hey there all you cool cats and kittens. This is Zeke from Replicate and today I want to talk a little bit about in-painting and out-painting in Stable Diffusion. So a while ago I built this app called InPainter and what it does is it allows you to take an existing image, erase a certain part of the image, provide a text prompt, and generate a new image where the part that you erased is filled in with new content that matches what you typed in the prompt. So here we're seeing a bowl of oranges being replaced by a bowl of bananas. So um, let's give a let's give an example of how this works. So I'm going to go into the painting app here and I'm going to start with a starting image. So I'll pop over to the zoo. If you haven't seen zoo.replicate.dev yet, it's a really fun new open source site that you can use to generate lots of images simultaneously with a bunch of different models at once. So I generated some fox, foxes wearing hats. I like this one wearing a beret, so I'm going to download that image. And then I'm going to go back to the InPainter app and I will drop this fox here. So let's say we want to do something like replace the fox's hat with a different colored hat. I don't know why it's blinking like that. It seems like a new bug. So we'll say fox wearing a yellow hat and then we'll run it. And what we expect to see here is all this part of the image should be exactly the same, but the part that we erased <laughs> should be replaced by a yellow hat. And sure enough, that worked as ex exactly as we expected. So What's going on under the hood here? Um, if we open up this InPainter app on GitHub, we can take a look at, at um, the parameters to the underlying machine learning model. So this is a Next.js app that's got some React components. So if we jump into the Paint.js file and we look here, we can see that there are a few different inputs to this model. One is the prompt, which is the text string, as in fox wearing a yellow hat. The other one is the init image. That's the image of the fox wearing a red hat. And the, the last input is the mask. And the mask is a black and white PNG that represents the erased part of the image that should be replaced. So if we look at the stable diffusion model on Replicate, um, here's some examples of it. So if we look at the inputs, there's the, oh, sorry, bounced around to the wrong place. Um, you can see, here's an example of a mask input and an init image. So in the exist, in the original image, it's got these classical timepieces with hands, um, analog watches. Um, but then the prompt is modern Apple watches. So part of the image has been erased and those parts are now replaced with these sort of Apple looking watches. So it's really just the combination of those three inputs that makes for an in-painting. So now let's talk about what out-painting is. So out-painting was popularized by OpenAI um, with their DALI model. So outpainting is the process of taking an existing image and extending beyond the edges of that image. So they, they have this great demo on the OpenAI website that shows someone dragging around this image and letting the model sort of fill in the blanks. And if you think about it, this is actually the exact same thing as in painting. It's just instead of there being a mask, which is a blob of eraser shape. It's a mask that is just partly the rectangle of the image, the part of the image that's within the bounds of the box and the other part, which is blank, which needs to be filled in. So if we imagine this as an input to, um, to a stable diffusion model, it would be something like this. So if we have this fox image, 
and initially it looks like this and we want to move this over and have this part filled in with I don't know the body of the fox or the thing that's you know just to the right of the fox so essentially what we'd be doing here is taking this portion of the fox image as our init image so something like something like this this would become our init image parameter and then something like this would become our mask and I forget a little bit whether black represents a race or white represents a race or vice versa but the idea is this we have our init image and our mask in the same way that we're doing in painting we're just saying okay stable effusion take this mask and fill in the blank part with whatever makes sense based on the init image that I've provided you plus the prompt so you could imagine that we could take this um, in painter application and add a capability where you can just sort of drag the underlying image around and you're using this this rec this square here as your generative space pretty much an exact copy of what's happening here on the OpenAI dolly demo anyway that's it i hope that was helpful and if anybody wants to take a shot at adding that capability to the inpater app uh, please go ahead thanks bye bye